but how will all this actually impact our Indian markets? What are we expecting from the Indian markets in terms of trade setup, stocks that we are keeping an eye out on? We do have our research team joining with us this morning. And Vivek, first up, coming to you. Good morning. And are we expecting a happy Friday on the D Street? What's the setup looking like? Well, uh, you know, so far nothing to complain. The setup looks quite good. Uh, remember, we are starting off a new series. Uh, we ended the September series on a very, very strong note. Now, uh, let's look at you know some of the cues and how they've actually panned out overnight. U.S. markets, all U.S. markets ended with gains, so no, nothing to complain over there. Uh, oil markets, in fact, yesterday cracked quite sharply, almost a two, two and a half percent cut across oil markets. Brent futures ended lower by two and a half percent to the seventy-one point six dollars a barrel mark. So again, that continues to remain a tailwind as far as India is concerned. Now, talking about the Indian markets, uh, last hour of expiry day yesterday was quite significant. You saw surge as far as all of the benchmark indices was concerned. Nifty, Nifty Bank, and you know, all of them ended at record closing levels. And in fact, when you're talking about you know which were the key sectoral gainers yesterday, the auto index surged quite significantly. Maruti, M&M, &M, all of them did very well in the session. Hero Motor was an outlier and lagged as far as the auto pack was concerned. What continued to do well was also the metal pack, and metal pack now amongst the top sectoral gainers even in this particular week. Uh, key stocks, you know, that actually lagged yesterday. Crompton Consumer, remember the company in an analyst meet flagged off demand concerns as far as Q2 was concerned, drag particular stock drag. But what are the key cues to track in today's trading session? Remember, we will be having the NSC indices, the Nifty, as well as CPSC rebalancing. So you will see some impact as far as stocks are concerned. Uh, amongst all of those indices, remember BL trend to enter the Nifty from Monday. And Asian markets give Nifty all indicating a positive start for our own markets. Okay, thank you so much for that, uh, Wube, keeping an eye out on that one. But uh, what are the important stocks that you should be keeping on your radar today? Vamakshi is joining with us. Good morning, Vamakshi. Well, good morning, Vinny. Let me first start off with IT stocks. They will be in focus because Accenture has upped its FY25 revenue guidance to 3 to 6% as compared to 1.5% to 2.5% earlier. This loads uh, positive uh, cues for the IT stocks like Infosys, TCS, Wipro. All of these counters will be in focus today. Adani Green has announced execution of its JV, which is Adani's Renewable uh, Energy 64 Limited with uh, Total Energies. Uh, uh, total J Energies is looking to invest nearly $444 million for a 50% stake in the JV. Biocon has partnered with Tabuk Pharma to commercialize GLP-1 products in the Middle East and these products are used for treating diabetes as well as chronic weight management. Torrent Pharma has refuted claims of Shellcal 500 allegedly failing CD SCO quality tests. Railcal Corp also on our radar and that is because the company has backed orders worth almost 155.72 crores from Rural Development Department, Mantralay Maharashtra. Our uh, uh, rights will also be on our radar. The, its consortium emerges as the lowest bidder in a Delhi metro project worth 87.58 crores. And out of this, rights share is around 49%, that is around 43 odd crores. Uh, sources on Novama Wealth suggest that Edel Finance and ECAP Equities are looking to sell 6.4% equity in Novama Wealth Management via block deals. The floor price for this deal is at 6,455 per share, putting it at a 5% discount to the current market price. And the block size is at 1,465 odd crores at the Ford floor price. And lastly, keep an eye out on union banks. Some wo worker unions have proposed to go on a strike uh, on September 27th, and this comprises of about 7% of the total employees of the bank. Thank you so much for that, Vamakshi. But Nigel, coming to you, good morning. And how is uh, the FNO space looking like? What are we watching out for after the end of September series? Well, uh, morning, Vinny. You know, the rollovers are a little bit higher than what we've seen on an average in the last three series or so. And the total open interest of the Nifty as well is uh, a little more meatier in comparison to what we saw at the start of the September series. So the longs on the Nifty have got rolled over. Though on the Nifty Bank, as we saw two sessions ago, there was more of a short covering bounce that you've seen out there. Now, in the September series, what stood out was the underperformance of the small and the mid-cap names in comparison to the large-cap stocks. And also, the Nifty Bank, that came back into play, and that was the leader of the rally that we saw in September. The factors to track from year on, crude prices have been subdued. That's a macro tailwind, and that's very, very positive. Can the metal index continue its bounce that we've seen post the Chinese stimulus? And also, can this large-cap outperformance continue? So those are the top three points that I'll be tracking. How are the FIS positions? Well, they're net long and they're aggressively net long, even more than what we saw at the start of September. What about the clients? Well, they're net short and they're aggressively net short, even more than we saw at the start of the September series as well. So both of them at totally opposite ends of the spectrum. 
But what they both agree on, it's a stock-specific market, market, and that's why, in fact, you know, the client as well as FIs, both of them, are net long on stock futures. So it continues to be a stock-specific market. For today's trading session, tech stocks will be in focus, post our centers numbers and post the guidance out there. And most brokerages, they believe that things are bottoming out and growth will come back. And IT sector, well, it contributes, IT stocks contribute roughly around 15% uh, of the total Nifty constituents uh, as well. Levels should come up for you on the screen. On the upside, it appears the Nifty is on its way to 26,500, or that'll be the first uh, reference point. On the downside, 25,800, we almost went there a couple of sessions ago. So that becomes a bit of a support in the near term. Back to you. Thanks so much for that, Nigel. Put on